Oh, hey there. Welcome. <laughs> We're here at American Idol live tour rehearsals, and I'm here with the winner of American Idol season nine, Leon DeWise. Hey. And we're gonna interview each other. So I'm gonna start because yeah. I have more ideas. Wow. No, I'm kidding. It's okay. No, that's okay. I understand. It's all good. Okay. Shoot. Um. So I was just wondering, mm -hmm. kettle corn or regular popcorn? I think depending on the time of the season. During the fall time, I prefer kettle corn. Mm -hmm. Um, movies and things and off. Mm -hmm. But it's not the fall season. I prefer regular popcorn. Like so what is your favorite season? Fall would be my favorite season. Me too! This is double Come question answered right there. This is getting so really good. Describe your average Thanksgiving dinner. Um generally starts off with uh, a lot of the family gathering together, um, followed by um, some turkey and mashed potatoes with some uh, cranberry sauce. Now from the can or homemade, Siobhan. Okay. Homemade. Me too. We have the we have the grinder and you yeah. clamp it on mm -hmm. the counter like a pilgrim. And you fill the top and you mm -hmm. you crank the you thing and it comes out like Play Doh Factory mm -hmm. and the secret ingredient is oranges. Well, not a secret anymore. <laughs> um what do you want I mean? You can, it, you can have a go. Is it, is it yeah. cool? Okay. Um, so, as a child, what, w what was your um, favorite cartoon and what character would you relate yourself to the best, you would say, um, these days? I liked a lot of cartoons, obviously, mm -hmm. when I was a child, especially Nicktoons. Um, I really related to Oblina, Ickis, and Crumb from Ah Real Monsters just because. Mm. They were kind of like their own little gang, and then all right. the other monsters sometimes were mean to them, but they had each and other. And they're always getting into, into mischief and things. Wild shenanigans. Mm -hmm. And their teacher, who was usually really, really mean, the Gromble, that sometimes he was How nice. How could we forget? <laughs> oh, the Gromble. <laughs> the Gromble. Um, I also related to Mighty Max in that I would time travel and fight monsters. Cool. Awesome. That was a really good answer. Thank you. Um, so who do you think is going to replace Simon Cowell? No, I'm just kidding. Um, don't, no, don't answer that question. That was a joke. Well, because um, I would say Pee Wee Herman should. Tony, da I, Tony Danza? Really, yeah, Tony Danza. It's a viable but, option. But I mean Pee Wee Herman. Because mm -hmm. he could... Sorry, Ellen, I love you, but Big Shoe Dance. Like, it could be a mystery word every show. Yes, a secret word every gonna, show. Yes. And every time Ryan said it, we'd scream real loud. There you go. It's a new idea. Watch him steal it. Okay. okay. Scooter or pogo stick? Um, I'm not very good at pogo stick. I've mm -hmm. tried. I've tried. But I know. It's really hard. It's okay. You can talk about it. I like Ranger Scooter. Mm -hmm. I remember when I got mine, my grandfather won it in a raffle, and I was ecstatic. Oh, your grandpapa? Grandpapa. Mm -hmm. And um, who, he's a judge. And he looks wow. like Santa Claus. Okay. He's a big jolly man. All right. He's not always jolly. He just looks he's like he's quite a temper. Jolly. Even when he's mad, he looks. But he's big and he has a big white beard. Okay. Cool. Yeah. We'll just do two and two. What does your grandfather do? Or did um, he do? Mine's retired. No. Mine's dead. So. Um, what, what I'm just kidding. Do? Well, well he, he is. He did pass away, but, but but you know he it's okay. I'm not, it's all right. We can talk about it. Um. I loved him very much, but he when uh, he was a, he golfed, he liked golfing and playing baseball when he was younger. That's what he did, and then, um, yeah. My great grandpappy. He liked Bing was, Crosby. Um, he liked Bing Crosby. So yeah. He's Irish. Who doesn't like Bing Crosby? I know. My great grandfather was an Irish boxer, and he got punched in the head so much he went crazy oh. when he was really old. But he did. Some really funny things. That's awesome. And when my mom was a teenager and she'd have all her friends over in the basement, he thought that he was going to the bar when he went and hung out with them in the basement. Silly And he'd have a drink and a smoke and he thought he was at the bar. Hmm. Okay. I think we'll be really fun old people. Who? We will. We will be fun old? Yeah, for sure. 
for sure. We'll sit on the porches and give candy to the neighborhood children. I've got one for you. We've talked about this before. Disney movies. What about them? Like, what's my favorite? Yeah. Snow White was always my favorite princess. Mm -hmm. I don't think she was really a princess, but that's okay. Yeah, actually. She no, she was, was not. Bad. Yeah. Snow White was not a princess. Yes, she is. Snow White was not a princess. Guys, was Snow White a princess? I don't think so either. She was more of a... Of a Snow White was definitely... Her, not... her mother's the queen. Her no, stepmother. No, that was her stepmother, and she was not a princess. Well, that's a she's, good call, actually. She's considered a Disney princess, and don't... She's considered you... a... No, because Jasmine really wasn't a princess either. But there's still the Disney princesses, and she is a princess. That's no, why Cinder she wants her prince to come. What do you know? Let's go Snow read the Grimm's fairy tale version. We could. Find out. We could. Okay. Um, there's still a fairy tale. What else you got for me? Whatever. Goofy movie. Okay. Powerline. It's one of my favorites. I'll be attending the Powerline concert. It's only Powerline Dad, the greatest rock star on the planet. Great movie. Great movie. Um, what's yeah. your least favorite interview question that people ask you when you do interviews? Um, in all seriousness. So who do you think's gonna win? And don't tell me you don't know. That's a good, that's a really good one. <laughs> I think my, uh, my least favorite question is, what has it been like for you since you Yeah, because it's like, so vague. I, I can't, I mean, there's so many things to say, but I say what I do it's when like, I can. well, well, on, on March 28th, it was a great day, and then the next day it was the crap, yeah. you know? Yeah. It just, it's very, it depends. Mm -hmm. What, um... Spit it out, Siobhan. I just think of something really good. Do you have any bands that you really love that you remember the first time you heard them and, and it, like, it hit you? Like it changed, like Incubus. it changed something. Incubus. I saw Incubus in concert for the first time. Mm -hmm. When playing. was that? Who were they playing? Oh my god, I was really young. I forgot who they were playing with. They were playing with uh, Phantom Planet. Really? Mm -hmm. Remember Phantom Planet? Oh yeah. I like Phantom Planet. You heard their, their album Raise the Dead? It's, it's pretty new. Yeah, I heard it. There was one song on there that was like... Did they're the all panic? Good, but, yeah. But Incubus would probably be the band that I, when I was younger I was like, man. That was cool. How about you? I don't even have to ask you. Yeah, I mean, to obviously, to like... Oh. 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 So, yeah. <laughs> um, close it up. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our interview. Um, Did Lee just walk can... out on your interview? I'm done. He does that. Whatever, I don't even hardly cry anymore. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Siobhan. No, thank you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our our interview. Um, he's hard to work with sometimes. And he just gets carried away. <laughs> um, but hopefully there was something in there that interests anybody. Um... Hopefully some of you can relate to our childhood memories. And maybe there will be more interviews in the future. <laughs>